queues. We all know what a queue is. It is a sequence of people awaiting their turn for a certain service. It is something that we all dislike, but it is really a part of our daily lives. We queue almost every day. We queue in the supermarket, the bank, the airport, and in many other busy places that force us to line up for service. Now, queuing is annoying, but important, as it organizes the flow of customers into the service, and more importantly, it gives each customer the right for service according to his or her arrival time. Now, queues also exist in healthcare, but these are quite different. The difference is that we wait with sickness or a pain in our bodies. And we wait for someone to take that pain away. So I wonder what have happened to those people who had to wait more than 30 hours in their emergency department. Queuing times in hospitals are becoming unacceptable. Patients have to wait for several hours before they get seen by a nurse or clinician. They are left on trolleys for a long time, and this is definitely not making their health situation any better. A few months ago, more than 50 people were waiting on trolleys at University Hospital Limerick. I mean, this is a big number, and something needs to be done about it. I have experienced these long queues myself as a patient. I had to wait for eight and a half hours in the A&E before I was seen by a clinician, and then I was treated for two days on a trolley bed before I was given a proper bed in a ward. And these long queues do not only affect the patients, they also affect the staff. The nurses become very distressed and this surely affects their performance. So this is what my PhD is about. I am working on these long queues. I am using mathematical and statistical tools that I learned here in UL to try and find solutions for these queuing problems that currently arise in Irish healthcare services. So far, I made a good contribution. I am currently hired as a researcher by University Hospital Limerick. And with the support of their data team, I was able to develop a forecasting model that will enable the management team to predict high demands so the hospital can get ready for those demands, plan and allocate resources accordingly. Uh, I'm also developing a mathematical model that will allow us to predict the length of stay of patients in the hospital according to their health profiles. And this will allow us to investigate further about how to reduce the waiting times. Hopefully, this project will be a stepping stone into managing these dangerous and problematic waiting times and prove once again that mathematics is a powerful tool that's always able to solve our daily life problems. Thank you.